Hi, my name is Daniel. Today, I'll show you how to patch Oracle Grid infrastructure without interrupting your users. I'm applying a new release update in a rolling manner. I'll create a custom service and configure it probably for draining. During draining, database sessions will leave one instance and reconnect to another instance in the cluster. And I'll also configure transparent application continuity. It is a very useful feature for those sessions that don't get the message and leave my instance when told to. I'm using a two-node rack cluster. The nodes are called Copenhagen 1 and Copenhagen 2. It contains one container database, cdb1 underscore Copenhagen, and it has one PDB called sales. Let's get on with it. First, I create a service. It's called sales gold and it belongs to the sales PDB. The service is active in both instances in my cluster. Both instances can host this service. I set drain timeout to 300, that's 5 minutes. When I stop the service, users will have 5 minutes to leave the instance. If not, the stop option specifies that the sessions are killed immediately after that. I set failover type to auto to enable transparent application continuity on this service. Then I start the service. I connect a grid and verify using CRS CTL that both instances have started the service. Now I switch to a gray terminal. This is a client that wants to connect to the database. I create an alias in tnsnames.ora that I can use. I call it sales gold. It connects to the scan listener in my cluster and very important, it connects to the service that I just created. Now I'll connect as my app user to the sales gold service using my alias. My database session connects to the first instance in my cluster on Copenhagen 1. I leave the session connected, but idle. Now, in a different terminal, I create another connection. It is connected to the same instance on Copenhagen 1. I verify that auto commit is turned off, and now I start a transaction, but I don't commit. Now I want to install the patch in GI in a rolling manner. I'll start with the first node, Copenhagen 1, that's where all my database sessions are connected. I stop the sales gold service on the database instance that runs on Copenhagen 1. Remember, I set drain timeout to 5 minutes. My two sessions now have 5 minutes to reconnect to the other instance. Let me switch to the first client session, the idle one. I can see that it's still connected to the first instance, but shortly thereafter, look, my client, in this case SQL Plus, heard the fan event and switched my session to another instance on Copenhagen 2. How about the other client session, the one in the middle of a transaction? Well, since I'm in the middle of a transaction, the client can't reconnect my session to another instance, so it'll just sit there until the drain timeout expires. I'm fast forwarding now, 5 minutes. The drain timeout has expired and I expect that my database session has been terminated. Let me try to insert a record. Hmm, it works. Well, let me commit. Now I can see that I'm in fact connected to the second instance on Copenhagen 2. The client has reconnected my session to the other instance and transparent application continuity replayed my in-flight transaction behind the scenes. I didn't do anything and my session didn't get an error and I didn't even notice anything. But my transaction has survived. Let's switch to the other client session and verify that both records 1 and 2 are there. Voila! Now that I've drained the database instance on Copenhagen 1, I can proceed and patch GI on that node. I use the switch grid home method and I do the first part as grid.
before finishing as root. The latter command, as root, takes down the entire GI stack, including the database instance on Copenhagen 1. But I don't care, because I just drained it and there are no users connected to it anymore. When the patching completes, I use CRSCTL to verify that my sales goal service is now active on both instances in my cluster. I have now patched the first node in my cluster. I can use the same procedure to patch the second node, thus completing the entire process. It's that easy. Happy patching.